2008. The team is, of course, Ferrari. This year, it's Kimi Raikkonen back to partner Fernando Alonso. That will be a fascinating combination. Please give a warm welcome to Stefano Domenicali. Well, Stefano was born in Imola, Italy, and given that fact, he was always destined to carve out some sort of career in motorsport. Ciao, ciao, James. Good morning to everyone. Well, Stefano, you were here last year and pretty blown away by this event. You've come back for more. Mamma mia. It seems yesterday, but it's already one year that we have lived an intense season. Not positive for us, but that's life. We are here for another challenge. Interesting this year for everyone. Uh, of course, for us, uh, more exciting for uh, a lot of reasons. Well, there's a lot of Italians living in Melbourne, right? I know, As we I all know. know. It's a big How community. many Ferrari fans do we have in the audience here today? You see? Let's have a big Forza Ferrari from them, yeah? There we go, perfect. So how are you fixed? I mean, Fernando was third yesterday on the, uh, the simulation of qualifying. The Mercedes looks a little bit strong on the, on the race pace, but are you going to be able to take him on this weekend? I don't know. It's easy to say something, but uh, as always, I'm a pragmatic guy. I want to see on the track. For sure, it seems that uh, Mercedes uh, is a little bit ahead so far, but uh, we need to wait and see because uh, with this old... Uh, uh, with the, this new regulation, with the problems that all the team has faced during the test, everything can happen. I think that here in, in Australia, both qualifying and the race will be very exciting because uh, there are a lot of uh, uncertainty. Uh, and for sure, all the Tifosi and supporters will, there, will be there thrilled to see what's going on. Well, Christian's had some fun in the last few years trying to manage two competitive drivers, and now you've got that as well. Obviously, you had Felipe before, but now you've got Kimi Raikkonen alongside Fernando Alonso, two world champions, both of whom want to win. How are you going to manage it? I mean, I think that the priority that I have is for sure to have a great car, and this is what I ask to all my engineers. If I have a good car, then I will be very pleased to solve, to have uh, this issue to solve. Well, we had Kimi here with us last year. Let's hear from him now. Move back to Ferrari this year. Obviously, 07 was a special year for you, but why the switch back? Um, I mean, why not? Obviously, you try to find uh, the best possible team for you, for yourself always. And uh, I was out of contract and, uh, and uh, ended up talking uh, in the end with Ferrari and it was quite an easy, easy, easy choice on that. So. your first season here, you've driven V10, V8, now 1.6 litre with the turbo. How's the feeling within your cars? It's a little bit different. I don't think the driving itself has changed a lot. Obviously. I think the driving itself changes more uh, when you change tyres and stuff like that because uh, you can only drive the cars in certain way if the tyres are or made on, on, on a certain, certain way or they are not as strong in the front of the rear. It changes a lot the way of, way of driving, but the, the rules usually hasn't changed a lot on the, the, the way of for normal driving. But obviously, for people designing the new cars, making new engines, gearbox, everything has been a really big, uh, big job. And um, I'm still, uh, still uh, keep working 100% and try to improve things. And uh, we wouldn't, I don't think anybody is 100% ready to go in the first race, but. Uh, we done the best that we have uh, had time and uh, hopefully we are as ready as we can. Excited about the season? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just very difficult to say where we're going to be, but uh, obviously all, over the weekend we will get some, some idea and uh, whatever it is, we will uh, only try to improve it. Thank you. Have a great year. Kimi Raikkonen, one of the uh, most popular drivers in Formula One. Of course, he won the world title with Ferrari yep. in 2007. Is he still the same old Kimi? Has he told you to leave me alone? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> he doesn't have to say anything on that. <laughs> uh, I think that, uh, man, I, I know Kimi since, uh, of course, that period because we were uh, already together in the team. I think that he has matured. Uh, but he's still uh, the same Kimi, very, very focused on the job, uh, not a lot of uh, things around his head, and that's what we like about him. Obviously, we're having a lot of fun here today, but a lot of us are still also thinking about Michael Schumacher. You were very of close course. to him. He was a, a great, great champion for Ferrari. He's in a very difficult moment in his life, and I know Ferrari has been very supportive through this time. Well, we are talking about, uh, first of all, a man, a friend, 
And so all, all of us are close to him and his family for this fight. And uh, we're really, really looking forward to seeing him back because uh, that's really what we hope and we pray for that. Thank you very, very much for joining us today, Stefano. Stefano Domenicali, the boss of the Ferrari team.